Hi, welcome back to the Gapster channel. I'm Gabby. I'm going to talk today about the Gapster CRC Pro. I designed the Gapster CRC Pro using JLC PCB. It's a very easy way to design uh, boards and uh, electronics and it's uh, really uh, relatively inexpensive and uh, it's really easy to do. I had made many videos about how you can actually design things yourself and I'm going to show you also uh, later on in the video how you can actually design something like that. At the end of the video, you'll see one of my subscribers, Chris, who actually using two of these boards and he talks about what he thinks of them. And it's kind of interesting to see his build as well. So a lot of you guys have been sending me messages about how you love them. And you did see, uh, you did hear a difference in the sound that actually did make a difference. So I finally decided to do a Gapster CRC Pro for uh, the folks that want just a single channel. Uh, if you remember, I released uh, the Gapster CRC Dual before. For those of you who want to use a plus, for example, 5 volt and minus 5 volt, people want to sometimes use them for other purposes than my Gapster TD1 DAC. So what's the CRC filters, you might want to ask? Uh, these are not your old uh, grandmas and grandpas uh, CRC filters. Uh, these are extremely uh, low ESR. So what is ESR is basically the internal resistance. It's been known that the lower your ESR is, the better quality your power supply will be. For example, we've been using lots of big, huge uh, supercapacitors to actually for that purpose. And uh, for example, those big, huge supercapacitors, the internal resistance is about almost like close to 300 uh, microohms. And uh, so uh, it's very hard to beat such low ESR. Till the new developments in technology, and now we have some nice polymer capacitors that can go down to 10 milli, uh, uh, milliohms. So if you start putting a whole bunch of them together, like there's about 36 of them here uh, in, in uh, parallel, now you're gonna reduce your ESR. Now you're down to like, uh, 290 microohms uh, by using just those polymer uh, capacitors. But these are not just any of them. These are, I've selected, these are very hard to find. They're extremely low ESR and uh, they make a really big difference. So how can you use the uh, Gapster CRC Pro? Let's say you are using uh, Ian Kanda's Linear Pi, which is basically a power supply. You can get those in configurations of 3 amps. Here it also has the Pro version, which can do actually 5 amps continuously, which is really good. Uh, so, and let's say you do not want to use any uh, ultra supercapacitors or ultra capacitors, so you want to keep it as uh, safe as possible. And so, what you can do is use one of these uh, Gapster CRC Pro. It's actually even made it so it actually has a, uh, the, a standard for configuration, it actually will fit on top of the linear pi, just like you see here. And uh, you get your output from here. It goes into the input here and then it goes from the outputs there. And in this configuration, you will use it as a CRC uh, filter. So you would use uh, one, uh, one jumper uh, on the, so you have either J1 or J2. In this case, you'll just do uh, use J1 jumper. Now you're going to get about uh, 290 microohms as your ESR. So that's going to be very, very nice and important. The other way you can do, you can actually stack a second one on top of the first one. And you can now put both jumpers on. And now this is no longer using a resistor here, just purely capacitors. And now you're going to drop your ESR down to below like 145 microohms. So this is really unheard of territory of ESR. And uh, the other thing you can do is, um, in this case, for example, I'm doing a, a two of them. So uh, just to show you how it actually goes. So it just simply goes on top, just like that. You use a 20 uh, uh, standoff, 20 millimeter standoff. So it simply puts this thing on top. And if you want, you add four more standoffs 
And now what you can do, if you want to use supercapacitors, you can actually uh, put this on top, just like you would usually do. And now you have both. Now you can get the output from here. It's going to go first into the supercapacitors. It will come out from the supercapacitors. It will go into the, uh, the filter here in a CC configuration. So both jumpers are going to be on. So just capacitors basically. Now you'll be able to drop the ESR. The ESR of those capacitors is usually around 3 milliohms. So two of them in series. You're looking about 6 milliohms ESR. But once you add the Gapster CRC Pro, you're dropping the SR to below 200 and basically 80 micro ohms. So now you're into basically like a zero point, less than 0 0.3 milliohms. So uh, it's, a, it's a huge uh, difference in the SR by adding, uh, just as simply adding the Gapster CRC Pro. So in this configuration, you get both advantages. You get the storage capacity of those small supercapacitors, well, they're not that small, uh, but you also get the ESR of the huge uh, big capacitors in a much smaller compact space. Uh, and that's kind of a good advantage. Uh, to recap, you can use one, you can use two, uh, or you can use basically both. And here you can see I'm actually using a dual rail one and I can put the supercapacitors on top. It's just like that. It's just simple and easy. You can also mount it closer to the load. For example, here it's mounted on the protodac and the Raspberry Pi. Because it has the same basic configuration of a Raspberry Pi uh, access hole, so you can actually mount it on a standard Raspberry Pi configuration. It can also be uh, under or over a Raspberry Pi in a any configuration, any in Canada stack or pro deck or any project that you are trying to do. And it can be also incorporated in the project, it has nothing to do with the DAC. I've seen people using them now for different uh, various projects. If you're not familiar with uh, Ian Canada products, I'll put the link in the description below where you can find those uh, linear pies. Also those UC conditioners are pretty amazing. And uh, also uh, if you want a link to the uh, Sigma 22 from AliExpress, I will also put a link for it in the description below. Another way you can use it, let's say you have one of those uh, power supplies. For example, you know, we've talked about this uh, Sigma. 22 uh, imitation. Uh, there's a video about these. I put a link of it in the corner here in the description. They are really good power supplies. Not all of them, some of them, and there's some kinks about them that you need to be aware of. So just watch the videos before using them. Uh, these are simple. They do have a little cord that uh, comes with it actually. So you basically simply plug it in into the CRC uh, Pro here, the Gapster CRC Pro, and uh, you can use them in a CRC mode. So you just use one jumper, which is J1 here in this case, and uh, now it's in CRC mode, and you get the output from the other side, and you send it to your device, whether it's a DAC or whatever it is, and now you have eliminated the problem with the long cord. You have a very low ESR, and you're very close to the load, so you can put very short wires from here to your system. I suggest you get a little box for these. You can get boxes that are fairly inexpensive, either from AliExpress or Mauser or anywhere, and just keep it contained. It shouldn't be uh, left outside. Designing with uh, GLCPCB and Easy Day is fairly simple. Uh, I did many videos. I'll link some in the corner and uh, below, so where you can reference to them, and if you'd like to uh, design yourself uh, feel free to, to use them also there's some uh, uh, description there's some coupons in the description where you can help you for your first uh, project and uh, also some links on how to uh, download the easy EDA software and GLC PCB uh, site if you like to design your own board CRC Pro, I, uh, I have a video, I'll put a link for it in the corner here in the description, how you can actually 
uh, design your own board, use your own capacitor and make it bigger or smaller or do whatever you want. And uh, it's just a quick tutorial just to get you started with GLC PCB because it's really simple and just opened the world. And just designing something simple like this is you know, just capacitors and a couple of resistors. There's nothing, you know, it's nothing, uh, you know, out of uh, outrageous here. You don't need a PhD in computers and uh, electronics to be able to design something like this. And you can see how simple it is. For those of you who just want to basically uh, download some of the files to actually uh, order uh, something similar to this, uh, I did a video about how you can actually uh, download uh, the Gerber files and then you can go on GLC PCB and actually order one. It won't be the exact same one, it won't be the pro version, but it will be the regular version. And from there you can actually also watch my other video where you can actually change a few things and maybe you'll be able to even tweak it and make it bigger maybe build something even better than this. So Gapster CRC Pro has like I said 34 uh, uh, polymer capacitors and also there is a, uh, a couple uh, smaller capacitors as well to, just to address the different uh, frequency zone to filter different uh, areas of the frequency spectrum. And uh, this one in particular, what's different with my Gapster CRC Pro, you can actually, as for inputs, you have your regular uh, uh, DC uh, volt uh, input, you can put your terminal, you can also uh, solder wires, you can also use a USB-C uh, uh, also input. As for output, is only two options, either terminal or soldered, because for output, you need to have thick wires, they need to be properly uh, bolted or soldered in, and they need to be short if you want to get the best of this thing. There's no point in putting a CRC filter and then have a, uh, you know, five feet long uh, cable. That uh, would defeat the purpose. If you need a USB-C out, let's say, for example, you want to feed a Raspberry Pi, I suggest to one of these uh, adapters, but uh, it uh, makes the cord a lot shorter. Keep it as short as possible. But say you have uh, an i5, for example, a power supply, uh, you plug it in into this, uh, and now you put this really close to the load, and now you basically fixed all the ripples and all the noise that's going to come through that cord and also reduce the SR and all those things. And now you have a really good power supply fairly easily with just one of these boards. The tests about uh, the Gapter CRC Pro, basically simply uh, like one single version of the Dual. So it's the same thing. This is the uh, basically the Studer 900 you can get from AliExpress. This has dual voltage and these are truly independent voltages. I did a good review and uh, this has turned out to be an excellent uh, power supply. And uh, let's just give it a try on its own first and see how it performs. All right, so I got it connected here, got the uh, light bulb also. And we're just gonna cover the can and let's just have a look to see uh, how it's measuring right now. As you can see, we're looking around about 10 microvolts basically. Some of it could be due to the long cord that's dragging to get to the load and that's always uh, not a good sign. If you ever have a power supply, don't have a long cord to supply, uh, I think, unless you really have to. So now I added the uh, CRC uh, Dual Pro here. We're gonna cover it up and let's have a look to see if things changed. And yep, let's zoom in here. And as you can see, it's all uh, just below the one microvolt level. It's all nice and, and, and level. So it did make a, a fairly significant difference. One of my subscribers, uh, Chris, actually bought two of these uh, boards from me and he's actually using them in a configuration. It's like, a, I believe it's a streamer DAC where he's actually using a computer as well. And uh, he actually used uh, two of those after the UC condition uh, to reduce the SR and also the noise. And, uh, and he sent me a really a raving review about them. I don't know him. I did not ask him to send me anything. I was surprised actually. That was made me think uh, people like uh, Chris and subscribers like, uh, 
like him, and a few of them that keep sending me uh, good things about my Gaptor TD1 DAC and stuff like that. And that's what keeps me actually going and keeps uh, me happy doing what I do. Uh, so basically, he's using two of these boards. I'm just going to read you what he said to me. This is his actual email. I got permission from him to actually uh, show this email. So in his email, he said the CRC filters received and installed as you recommended. Thanks so much for the amazing contribution to the all your world. Thank you, Chris. I must say I noticed an immediate difference. Darker, more defined, wide soundstage and more focus. He sent me this beautiful picture uh, that he's taken of the of the beautiful storm. Uh, as uh, most of you know, I do photography. I definitely appreciate such a gorgeous, uh, beautiful picture. Uh, whenever someone is talking about something, they say, oh, it's so much better. I could hear a big difference. Take that with a grain of salt because, uh, you know, yes, we're talking about small differences here. Uh, we get so basically, uh, uh, we're basically so obsessed with sound and stuff that every tiny little change, every little small uh, improvement for us, we're all excited like, oh wow, I hear a difference. Uh, but you know, don't expect like it's going to be you know, night and day. These are minor things when you, everything counts. Every 1% uh, change and improvement makes a difference. And when you add them up, you know, you add five, six different things, now you get 10 percent difference in in sound so so like sometimes it's kind of funny you know like someone you know i added this oh the sound got better i put a fuse the sound got better i changed the power cord oh the sound got better uh, i lifted the cables off the ground the sound got better like how bad was it at the beginning uh, you know you know what i mean like it's uh we get a little bit crazy sometimes so like i said just take these things with a grain of salt i hope you like this video I work hard on these videos to bring you as much things that are new and different than uh, what you see everywhere. And uh, if you like my channel, please help me by subscribing to the channel. You can subscribe to my Patreon to help me for as low as $1 and that will give you access to some of the files so you can you download them and even use EasyEDA and GLC PCB. In this corner here, I'm going to put a video about another GLC PCB video, how you can actually uh, download the files and order your own uh, CRC filter uh, from GLC PCB. In this corner, I'm going to put a video how you can actually design uh, with easy EDA and GLC PCB so you can design your own board, your own thing and order it from them. I hope you like everything and I hope to see you again in another video.